Welcome back to Cosplay Engineering. I'm Suzanne, a hobbit who cosplays Crafts and Codes. It's a new month, which means I'm starting a new cosplay. For July, I'm building a Captain America with an LED shield. As usual, I am starting with a sketch of my costume design. Because my shield is generated through spinning LEDs, I wanted a costume design that matched. This means the end costume will have light elements along with the light up shield. With my design figured out, I then began to start working through the problems I needed to solve in order to get to this base armor. The problems are as follows. One, pattern. Two, back armor. Three, front chest piece. In order to solve the pattern problem, I used this simplicity pattern and manipulated it for my needs. In order to keep my patterns in good condition, I used tracing paper to copy the original pattern instead of cutting out of the pattern tissue. I then cut out the pattern in muslin because I wasn't confident the original pattern would be long enough for what I needed. As I suspected, the original pattern was too short for what I needed. Fortunately, because I did all my patterns out of tracing paper, I just split this pattern in half and added three inches. Then I cut it out of muslin again to confirm that it worked. That took care of problem number one. Moving on to problem number two, which was the back armor. Because of how I designed it, I needed the back armor and the front chest plate to be two separate pieces. However, I still needed something in the front to attach the back armor to the body and allow the front chest piece to then attach to it. I solved this by putting a mesh front shirt on the back armor, allowing it to sculpt to the body and form a base that the chest plate can then be attached to. Because of how I solved the back armor problem, I am able to keep all unwanted zippers off of my actual armor itself. This here will be covered by my last problem, the chest plate. Both the chest plate and the back armor are created out of headliner foam. I know I could have built most of this out of EVA foam, but I like the flexibility of headliner foam and the fact that I can easily sew it on my machine. Plus, I'm better at manipulating fabrics than I am foam. With my chest piece built and in place, that takes care of the last of my problems in order to get to this base armor. Next week, I will be going over covering it in red, white, and blue vinyl and turning it into a complete armor. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at A Crafty Hobbit to see progress photos during the week. And of course, subscribe to this channel by clicking the icon in the corner. 